I was born in Moscow, but I remember nothing of that time. I was just an infant when the old world was destroyed in the flames of nuclear fire. I, along with 40,000 others, were saved by retreating to the metro stations deep under the city. Now, 20 years have passed, and going up into the embrace of an endless winter was left to a few brave souls. The metro was our home, and our fortress against the nightmarish mutants who roamed the tunnels. Still, we never gave up hope that we would return to the surface. But one day, a new threat appeared, and we found ourselves in a war to determine the very existence of our species. The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we would climb up into the howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? Artyom, when you left your home station, did you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world, or send it straight to hell. Gotcha! We'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface, Artyom. Something's moving in the next room. Open the gate, I'll cover. Open the door. I'll cover you. Shit is always breaking down in here. Use the auxiliary hand system to open the gate. Артём, 
Check those crates for ammo and med packs. Ready, Artyom? Follow me. Nobody's home. Before we hit the surface, put your gas mask on. Without it, it'll be like a boat in the outside of the boat. is there. This is the Torelov performance hall. It's very close to the town. Sinky. Here they go.
Life was never easy in the tunnels. But it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in seeing the same people day after day. But since the mutant attacks had escalated, fear ruled the station. I had just turned 20 and could never have imagined what would follow on the morning that my stepfather's friend, Hunter, arrived at the barricade. Artyom, <laughs> wake at last, I see. Hunter's on his way in. He should have news from the other stations. Come on. down and shoot them. What a joke. That's how it goes, bro. Hello, Artem. The station can't survive much longer if these attacks don't stop. We must do something. What more can we do? Nobody home! No one here! The Dark Ones will kill us all! Sergei, have you seen my Hello, Sergei? Artem. Another patrol was attacked last night. The hospital's full. Many want to leave the station. What about Alexei? He was at the outpost. Mommy, do we need to wait long? Alexei was in the battle. Has anyone seen him? The captain said he was okay, but I hope he's alive. Let's go, Artyom. Was it the dark ones? The situation's under control. No visitors. Pieter. Oh, that's you. They, they won't tell me anything. I don't know what to do. Come on, Alex. Hello, Artyom. This was the third time. I'm too My brother is in the hospital. Doctor hasn't Somebody said anything. Could, uh, uh, you, uh, do you know any information? We just have to hope. How many casualties last night? Has anyone heard? Leave me alone. Who knows? Go on, Artyom. Sergei, have you seen my Sergei? People want to see their relatives. How are the wounded? Uh, not much improvement. Two died this morning. The Dark Ones do not kill outright, but they damage a victim's mind. Sooner or later, this leads to death. Me. 
God, when will this ever end? I can't take it anymore. It's Hunter. Mutants don't knock first. Open the damn gate. Welcome to exhibition, Hunter. Thanks. Now closer, kid. It's been a long time, Hunter. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. So, Hunter, what's happening in the outside world these days? Not much. Most of what I hear is about the exhibition and the undead infesting your tunnels. <laughs> Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. What the hell? Something much worse. <laughs> Dark ones. Well, whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto. If it's hostile, you kill it. Intruder alarm in the main vent shaft. They're coming in from above. Shit. Just what we needed. There are wounded here just behind the wall. The hospital. Kirill, take your group to the tunnels. Alex, Hunter... we must stay here and defend the hall. All right, go, 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 go. quickly get a weapon. Damn, they never come this far into this station. It's the hospital. They smell the blood. shot this one. No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the dark ones are there. Fear. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosoluses run through the tunnels like rats. The dark ones are not simple mutants. They're homo novice, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your homo novice with me to hell. You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers, trained in combat. Their bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Ones! They destroyed the outer guard post!
devil knows what's happening out there, beyond your perimeter. I must go recon the situation. Listen carefully, Atom. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me, and what's stirring in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller, so he knows I've sent you. I trust everything to you, Optim. Don't let me down. If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated, no matter the cost. Eliminated. Understand. Hunter did not return. It wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis, but I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day and needed guards. I signed on for the ride. Паровоз, не стучите колеса. Кондуктор, нажми на тормоза. Well, finally, taking your time as usual, huh? All right, grab your gear, go to the platform. They're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artem, don't forget anything, huh? Вот что, перевертоться, бабушка здорова. Вот что, перевертоться, куча ед компот. Вот что, перевертоться, я мечтаю снова. Вот что, перевертоться, пережит на лед. Sorry, Arto. This part of the station is under temporary lockdown. Only the guards may pass. Sorry, I can't let you through yet. Hey, that's some nice music. Hey, uh, where did you get that record? Got it from a ranger for a ton of ammo. Hey, you're sure you don't regret getting it? Why do I put up with it? Doreen, Mom told me to keep away from you, that you were no good, and she was right. No, you, my, will you ever shut up? All right, then uh, draw something else now. How about? Hmm. I know. How about the house where you'd like to live with your mom and dad? Oh, come on. A house? A big one? And when your mom comes back, we'll show it to her and she'll be happy. That's going to be a great surprise for her son. Okay, I'll draw that. Daddy, when is mom going to come back? Soon. I wish she could see how much you've grown. I was on the surface again. Uh, I don't want to hear about your nightmares. We got a good 50 years before we can go topside again. So go back to sleep already. So, that top guy comes over and says, And baby, if my wife could cook like you, I'd be the happiest man in the world. So I ask him, can't your wife cook at all? And he says, actually, I'm not married. <laughs> That's sweet. So go for it, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nobody home. <laughs> dirt everywhere, just dirt. People are filthy, you know? Liars, hypocrites, traitors, everywhere. What? You saying that I'm dirt? Well, you're shit, okay?
Who's that? Artom, is that you? Is everything all right? Sorry, I'm busy right now. Is that you, Pete? Can't you open it yourself? <laughs> Lost the keys again. <laughs> Go find the keys! You know I can't get up, idiot. Look who's talking CCC. about dirt. Walking around and leaving those dirty footprints everywhere. Not giving a damn about me who's got to clean it up after them. That's something to piss anyone off. Our stations are to jointly solve issues concerning trade, communications, resources, and so on. Most importantly, the northern tunnels will now be secured by our combined military units. A major step in defense of the metro system. As a sign of goodwill, the troops from Riga are already on their way here. We're counting on all our citizens to welcome our new allies and to offer them the same respect shown to our home guard. Thank you for your attention. Hey, hey. Who's, who's there? Ah, it's you, Artyom. Well, let me get some rest, will ya? It'll be my watch soon. Get lost, Archon! Pete, didn't I ask you to stay close? Looking for you all over the place ain't no fun at all. Don't make me worry like that, okay? Okay, Daddy. I'm sorry. I recall reading that Kalashnikov was very proud that his invention was the most popular gun in the world. He said he was happy to know that our borders were kept safe with its help. A fighting man in that thing had gone mad. Imagine that your invention was the number one murder tool in the world. <sighs> it's worse than being a doctor who invented the guillotine. And now we use cartridges for currency. How morbid is that? If you think about it, one bullet is somebody's life. A hundred grams of tea costs five lives. A sausage, a mere trifle, fifteen lives. A nice leather jacket. It's your lucky day. It's on sale. Not three hundred, but just two hundred and fifty human lives. Yeah. The market's daily turnover should be about equal to the lives of all the remaining metro inhabitants. Talking aloud. You heard me. And you, Artom, should go. You got no business here. Prison is a place for thieves. Yeah, that's how it is. I've been caught. To hell with you all. The man's supposed to make a living somehow. Shit. I was put in charge of radio monitoring. Our hope was to contact the government bunkers over the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. <laughs> At first, they didn't directly target civilians, and nobody thought this would be the war that would end it all. As I was monitoring the radio, I picked up a lot of weird stuff in the beginning, too. Siberia was silent, but the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. The subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No one could believe Moscow was not there anymore. Naval captains wept like kids on the air. The crewmen were begging me to check if their families were among the survivors. But I couldn't do anything. Some of the subcrews decided to get their revenge and went to their launch positions. Others reasoned that since the world was doomed, more killing was pointless. The subs continued to come back on air for a long time. They could stay submerged for half a year at least. Some of them were destroyed, but not all. I still shiver when I remember those days. God. Hello, doing well, I presume? Me. Not bad at least? Tell me he's going to be alright. Do something. Get off your ass. Go find the money to buy the medicine. 
Artyom, please. My son's sick. Could you spare a couple of cartridges? I'll pay you back as soon as I can. Thanks, Artyom. I knew I could count on you. Look at this. That's a real helmet for you. That one's not bad either, but this is the hey, real deal. Hey, catch up! Yeah, this one's not bad. Well, you value your own life so cheaply. Okay, but your death is expensive for the ones you leave behind. Bit expensive, eh? All right, suit yourself. There's a lot of stuff to choose from, and only at our shop. Nah, I don't like something about it. You ain't gonna find anything better. Believe me, I know. Eh, yeah, don't think so. Yeah, what do you need? There is standard method for escorting caravans. Guards on the cars, others patrolling ahead, and some to the rear. Sure, more than enough protection. So, we were transporting cargo once, with usual detachment. Two men ahead, three in the middle, one behind. Everything was fine until we had to go through Spur Tunnel. There was this stench in there, and some kind of mist. We couldn't see more than two meters ahead, so we tied a rope to the belt of the rear guard, to one of the center guards, and one to the fore guard, so not to get lost in the fog. Safety line. Again, by the book. Fuck the book. This is what I'm telling you. We start Look walking. Halfway down the spur, the rope attached to the rear guard suddenly goes slack. We yell to the guy. Nothing. Tolia, who's in the middle, pulls the rope to him. It looks like it's been beaten off. The rear guard is gone. No trace, no sound, evaporated. Tolian just stares at the rope, scared shitless, till I drag him away. Even when we've cleared tunnel, he doesn't say a word, and hasn't to this day. Jesus Christ. He taught me one thing. If your number's up, no one can save you. Your squad mates just slow you down or come make you over, bigger target. Over, so now, I patrol alone or with just one partner. Except for the tunnel between Dry Station and Curse Station. That's a special case. Everything's fresh. Come over, make your choice. Good weapons make good soldiers. Oh, you're right. That is just what the doctor ordered. Oh, that is just what you need. Ah, a correct choice. Eh, whatever. While at war, your weapon is your best friend. You can see Come it. On, you can kill what it. What should I bring for you? Well, sweetheart. What should Daddy get you? A good weapon makes the best partner! Hmm, a ball, and some colored pencils, and some sweets. Okay, Daddy? <laughs> it's a deal, but only if you behave, okay? Be kind to your mom. Listen to her at home, alright? Pig trotters, fresh! Drunk again! Treat, get the hell up, you slob! Uh, what? What do you want? You drink like there's no tomorrow. And there won't be if you don't get your ass home. Piss off! Let's go. Move it, you vine sack! Don't bother me. I'm going to handle it myself. Ha! So it's one happy family for you. I have the best selection, a perfect customer satisfaction. Go ahead, buy from another merchant. You got what you pay for. But you had the same item for less just last week. Exchange! Enough for Yes, uh, did you want anything? <laughs> well, that's it, then uh, quit standing around. Just run along. So, uh, going back to business, you won't regret this, I assure you. Great merchandise, reasonable price. Well, I'll think about it. Why? How could this happen? I lost them all. 
Everyone in my squad dead. God, give me strength. Got to finish exchange? A nice idea. Huh? Deal. Lost everything. Everything. Hey, hey. Who's who's there? Ah. Tio, Tio. Let me get some rest, will ya? It'll be my watch soon. What do I do now? Where do I look for? <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Look, I'll give the book back to you tomorrow, okay? I haven't finished it yet. That's one great book. Thank you. I'll bring it back tomorrow. I'd really like to finish it. Artyom, where's your gear? No, go to the armory and get geared up. So, what do you make of that new guy? He seems completely incompetent. As if you were born a soldier. Anyone can learn anything. No, only if you're cut out for it. If not, you'll be a cleaner or a loader for the rest of your days. Got both hands? Got a head? Here's your gun and go, go, go. Never fear, it's the same old story. Hello, Artya. You need some weapons? Okay, let's take a look. Submachine gun, 5.45 caliber, made in the armory. It's got poor accuracy and overheats like hell. That's why they call it a bastard gun. <laughs> Use short bursts, Artyom. Help yourself to some ammo, too. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery powered. And a gas mask. Put it on if you crossed any radiation hot zones. Or, God help you, go up to the surface. Army issue first aid kits, just in case. Okay, you're supplied, my friend. Feel free to try out your weapon on my firing range. And, uh, you try not to stick out your head too much, okay? Could go back up to the surface? I've never seen Moscow, just the old pictures. Moscow's gone. Soon we'll be gone too. And the monsters will inherit the Earth. But there were other subways. In St. Petersburg, Minsk, Kiev. People might have survived somewhere else, or at least for a while. But so many years have passed now, and we've heard nothing from them. The other cities didn't have defense rings like Moscow did. What a great city it was, St. Petersburg. The cathedral and the admiralty with its spire. I remember summer nights on Nevsky Avenue. Crowds, laughter, kids with ice cream, beautiful slender girls, the music, and the air, sweet enough to drink. What a beautiful world we've destroyed. Ha! 
Hi, how are you, Artyom? Come in, son. You're ready to set off. Good. You've probably heard that our station is creating an alliance with Riga. We're sending them a couple of rail cars with humanitarian goods, some weapons, and some miscellaneous gear. That's the cargo you'll be looking after. It's not a very long trip, and it should not be too hard. Artyom, you one thing before you go. I can see that you look up to Hunter, but a ranger's life is different than ours. They are reckless, even violent by nature. There's nothing to be gained by playing the hero, so stay clear of trouble. See the caravan to its destination and come home as soon as possible. Goodbye, my boy. How are you? Hi, Artyom. How about the piglet? A mighty fine bat, I must say. <laughs> Hold that ladder! Steadier! I'm holding it all right! I told you to hold it! I got it, I got it! Joining the caravan. Good luck to you then. to move out? Are you ready? Well, let's go then. You take that seat, Artyom. And you, Eugene, take this one. Did anybody forget anything? Sua, you get your gear? Let's go then. Hey guys, going to Riga? Yeah, we are. Can I get a lift? Sure, but no free rides. You'll have to pull the lever sometimes. <laughs> I can do that. Let's go then. I'll write it then. Good luck to everyone staying home, and to us too. Boy, Let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Whoa! Artyomka! Free at last, huh? Well, for as long as the ride takes, anyway. Should be fun. More dangerous. Even better, right? <laughs> the first time I had left the safety of my home station. It troubled me that I hadn't told my stepfather the truth. I would not be heading straight back from Riga. But Hunter was depending on me. So, where are you from? Riga. I'm making the rounds, buying merchandise. Well, I bet you've seen a few places then. Yeah, the market is right go, next go, to Riga, go, go. and that's a big metro already. I used to make regular trips to Polis, but getting there now requires a lot of luck. That or being from the oh, I'd love to How ride come? that thing. Hansa connects to the whole metro and has a lot of stations. But doesn't welcome outsiders. And if it's not Hansa, then you have to go through the Reds, the Nazis, or your regular bandits. 
And these guys are really going at it lately. If they're not fighting everyone else, they're warring with each other. Military caravan got stuck near Alexeyevska. A tunnel collapsed, or other shit. You have to use the service tunnel bypassing Alexeyevska. Ah, fuck. I hate this tunnel. Hmm? All right, Peter. Open up the gate. No point being stuck here forever. Why? Well, what's wrong with that tunnel? Well, it's an ordinary tunnel. Not as well lit, maybe. I went through that last month, and, well, I just don't like it. That's all. Have a safe trip. We're riding a ham car and we're armed, so I think we'll make it there okay. That way we'll get to Riga in no time, right? No, we should get out of here sooner. It's scary when they're around. And I pity them. Them? Who, who, who them? Can you hear them weep? Whom do you mean, them? What are you talking about? Huh? What, what the hell is going on? What? Boris? Bo Boris? Boris? <clears throat> what? What's happening to me? Huh? Huh? Oh, uh. Artyom! Over here! If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated, no matter the cost. going on? Shit! Wake up, people! People! Wake up, for Christ's sake! What is... What is... Wake up, Boris! Shit! It's no good! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! Shoot them! You shoot them! Take the ladders! Come on! Wake up!
What the hell? Riga station was only the first stop on my journey, but the caravan went no further. So, before parting ways, we drank to celebrate our survival. The vodka didn't drown my fear of traveling on to Polis alone, but I was about to find myself with an unexpected and notorious partner. Alright boys, let's train to our friend Artyom, who goes right through monsters and anomalies alike. To Artyom. To you! Hell, if not for you Artyom, we'd have been shredded like cabbage. You deserve a medal. <laughs> or at least some extra ammo. Here, take them. To your help. Artyom! To you! Artyom! You really immune to that shit? See if that shroom vodka knocks him down, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got to check that! To our luck! And... To Artyom! To your help! Ah, the vodka kicks everyone's ass, huh? So tell me, the tunnel to markets closed down and I'm bored to death sitting here on my ass. We passed through some kind of invisible wave. We all blacked out. When I came to, there was a horde of Nosalises chasing us, but our friend Artyom was okay. Seems that tunnel shit didn't affect him, so he was shredding the bitches. Man, I don't even know how we made it to the roadblock. I'll drink to such a nice guy too. Za Artyom! Artyom! To you! Thanks, boy. I'm selling a lot of drinks because of you. <laughs> Hero the next time, huh? <laughs> that was a mistake, boy. And don't you dare come back, Chervian. Yeah, that's a great I one. remember that song. I got my orders.
What are you looking at? I told you the bus is busy. Could you give a bullet? Hey, kid. Beg somewhere else. Oh, I really should be going now, or else I'll get a spanking. I am trying to feed my sister. Give me a bullet, please. Thank you. Shot. I bet he's not doing anything. Who's gay? What's the bet? All right, it's a deal. Oh, that's something. He actually hit. Ah, anyone can hit lucky. Let him hit once more. Hey, now hit again. Getting interesting now. Damn you, sniper! See that? He hit again. No way. He's missing the next one. Ah. You get that move. I'm ready. Just ate my day. See that? He hit again. Nice. As you wish. Yeah? You won't find any sharper. The most balanced knives. Take some. That's a deal. Bullets exchange.
good deal. Are you Artyom? Hey, there's a man at the Black Street waiting for you. I'll guide you there for one bullet. Okay, find him yourself then. And you are really greedy. Scrooge. Scrooge. The worst thing I've ever been through was Sevastopolska. Actually, I didn't reach the station itself. I was suddenly overcome with fear and just ran away. What from? I can't explain that. Neither can the people I was with. They didn't believe in God. So God didn't guide them back to the Decurse station. They tripped over the ties, but I was too scared to go back and help them. When they grew quiet, I stopped to wait for them. And then, out of the darkness, something was flung right at me. It was a severed arm. Edgar's! It had his tattoo! It was like a slap in the face for my cowardice. I'm scared, Costa. I had enough of this. I'll guide you there for one bullet. Thanks! Let's go! Hey, let's go! Let's go! him sitting over there. Well, I'll be going. Bye. Come here. You're Artyom, right? Sit down. Everybody calls me Bourbon. Listen, I need to get to Dry Station for some business, but this rat hole is on lockdown. I, however, know a back way. A so-called cursed passage the locals are afraid to use. But I hear the shit in the tunnels doesn't work on you. So, you help me get to dry, I'll give you my AK when we get there. Deal? Good. Here's an advance payment in case you need to gear up first. Are you ready? All right. I'm waiting, but don't dawdle.
You like what you see? I'll show you a good time. Special price for you. Is that a gun in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? What? Not enough lead in your bullet? Give me a bullet and I'll show you what you are missing. Come here, baby. I've got the freshest meat at the market. Are you ready? Sitting in this crap hall is useless. As I entered the abandoned tunnel with Bourbon, I wondered if I'd been wrong to trust him. But the station gates were still sealed, and there was no telling when I'd have another chance to leave Riga. Great, we broke free. Now keep your eyes peeled. The handcar ride is over. Lots of tough guys died in these tunnels. But if we watch each other's backs, we'll get there. It's just a single lurker. They rarely attack groups of people. But if you're alone, watch your ass. sounds. Either the ground is making that noise or the wind. I also heard tales of singing pipes. They say if you listen long enough, you can hear the voices of the dead. What bullshit.
bandits, caravanners. They're all dead, I know that style. Bandits. And Hansa boasted that they'd wipe them out. Ha! Ah. Ah, now keep your eyes peeled. They won't let us pass freely. Alarm system. Ancient, but quite efficient. If you want to arrive unexpected, try not to disturb the cans. Your step, any crunch or crackle give you away. Oh, a tripwire! An excellent way to get rid of the blind and daredevils. You get what to do? Barricaded themselves. Short. We need to get closer. Can you take down the patrol? and a few bullets. The shitheads were mostly hauling clothes and shrooms. Nothing but junk. And who was that with you? The caravan master. The boss wants to ransom him for, uh, like, his weight in bullets. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Damn, I don't just curve this sucker up. That's why he's the boss, and you'll always be on watch. Bro. 
grunting, but it still feels like a bullet's gonna hit right now. Uh. It's a nasty place, so here's the plan. I'll keep you covered and you watch my back. If we work together, we'll make it. But don't play hero boy. I'm in no mood to get killed today. Military trolley. They are looking for the bandits.
some ride.
have no sense of humor. Are my eyes playing tricks? Bourbon, old friend, is that you? And I've given up hope of ever seeing you alive again. Simon, look who the snout scared up. God damn it, we stepped in the ship now. Hey, Mikhailovich, what a coincidence. I was just coming to visit you. You hear that, boys? Set out the good dishes. Bourbon's come to visit. Now, don't go running off, Bourbon. We've got a little job to finish, then we'll get back to you. Remember where you should wait for me? I do, I do. You sure? I can help you, remember? You get me right? Absolutely. like this. You could buy almost anything. 
But Bourbon owed money to the Hansa sentries and was anxious to leave. Monster your weapons at once! Who are you? Come into the light! Slowly, slowly! I'll be damned! Bourbon! Hey guys, we'd better search these two! <laughs> so, you old drunk, what are you carrying this time around? Who's the boy? Look here, boss. I'm sure we can work this out. Sure? Let's go and chat a little. And you keep an eye on this one, huh? Don't move! Stand still! I'm talking to you! Okay, these two may pass. Welcome to the market. Let's move our asses. Or would you like to enjoy their company a little more? Hey, watch your tone. They'll overrun us, then butcher the entire station, just like Polis. The next thing that comes down that tunnel, I don't care, it's a fucking mouse! No passport, you shoot it! What happened at Politsevskaya? You haven't heard? It's very strange. A detachment of scouts went off into the tunnel, so they didn't report back. I mean, they were seasoned men, so the station commander figured they got held up by a cave-in or flooded chamber. A patrol went after them. The tunnels were clear. No signs of firefight. No body parts, no blood. The scouts had vanished without a trace. So the commander wrote it up as an act of desertion. Chicken shit the hell with them, that's what he said. So, a week later, another patrol disappears. Again, no sun, no corpses, nothing. The citizens are pissing their pants by now. Then two more squads vanish. So they set up a fortified perimeter, 300 meters out. Sandbags, spotlights, machine guns. And they wait. But for what? There's something out there, and it's putting a chill on their bones. There's a burnt out plane, right in the middle of that tunnel. When I saw it years ago, there were charred bodies, inside some still seated. It was a nightmare. The train is difficult to traverse. You can't go around it since the tunnel roof is given in, and all the space between the carriages and tunnel walls is completely filled with soil. And there was something weird going on inside that train. I'm a rational person. I don't buy all that mystical nonsense. So I thought it was rats and the like, you know? But I'm not so sure. Well, we can't go to Hansa. Look. Oh, here are some cartridges. Go get a couple filters, will ya? I have an idea. I'll go have a talk with a certain someone. We could either meet at the local bar or I can find you elsewhere. Well, off you go. You have around five minutes. If anyone reads me, respond. It's Moscow, Market Underground Station. This is Moscow Metro, over. Does anyone read me? Please respond. If anyone reads me... <coughs> that Tanya, she's hot for me, I tell you. Oh, did she give me a look yesterday? If anyone reads me... What kind of look? What do you It's Moscow, I'm meeting her today after the watch. No, she promised to go with me to this is Moscow Metro. Over. You bastard! To say that read again, you asshole! Please respond. If anyone reads me. <coughs> What's your situation, man? 
No one. All quiet, Igor Vladimirovich. If anyone reads me, I smell respond. a rat for some reason. It's Moscow, <laughs> Market Underground Station. This is Moscow Metro, over. Move Someone it, boy. Me. Please respond. Move! If anyone reads me... <coughs> Once I picked up a transmission from a surviving tank crew. Yeah, they were off base on maneuvers when it all happened. Those tanks were shielded against radiation, so these guys headed east from Moscow. They barreled through the burning villages, picked some women up along the way, and just kept going, refueling when they could. Finally, in the middle of nowhere, they ran out of gas. Huh? Since there were no strategic targets that far out, the radiation wasn't nearly as high as in the cities. So, uh, they dug their tank in like a pillbox and then put up some tents. They had a solar generator, plenty of ammo, and you know, they settled around the tent for good. I, I spoke with them by radio every night for almost two years. At first, they did okay. They planted crops, two of them had almost normal kids. You know, they saw lots of weird critters out there and didn't know how to describe. Then one night they went off the air. Never heard from them again. Well, I guess the generator gave up the ghost. Maybe they just ran out of ammo. Yeah. <clears throat> if anyone reads me, respond. It's Moscow, Market Underground Station. Even the other stations are <laughs> silent today. This is Earth, third planet of the solar system. This is an emergency. Hmm, uh, does oh, anyone know which yeah. galaxy we're in? Milky Way. But that wouldn't mean much for the little green men. <laughs> no one. If anyone reads me, respond. It's Moscow. Mark what? The ground what do you want? Get this lost! I'm not over. in the mood! Does anyone read me? Please respond. If anyone reads me... <sighs> no one. If anyone reads me, respond. It's Moscow, Market Underground Station. This is Moscow Metro, over. Does anyone read me? Please respond. It's Moscow, Market Underground Station. This is Moscow Metro, over. The boss is Don't busy, come me. back later. Please respond. If anyone reads me... <coughs> no one. What's up? If anyone reads me... Yes? Respond. It's Moscow, Market Underground Station. What's the occasion? Driver's Day again? This is Moscow Metro, over. My son said his first uh, word. Congratulations! Was it Mama or Papa? Neither. It was fire! <laughs> A little soldier, just like you! Yeah, just like me. You know, ever since that time the vampires came pouring out of the side tunnel, I dream of them every night. There I am, commanding my squad. But their guns are down, and everybody's drunk. These walking corpses are attacking, and I'm screaming, Open fire, you bitches! Open fire! Fire! My men can't hear me. They wake up soaked in sweat, and my wife and kid are crying. Let's have a drink. This is Moscow Metro, over. Okay. Does anyone read me? Please respond. I recall reading that Kalishnikov was very proud that his invention was the most popular gun in the world. He said he was very happy to know that our borders were being kept safe with his help. If I invented that thing, I'd go mad. Imagine that your invention was the number one murder tool in the world. It's worse than being the doctor who invented the guillotine.
One time I went to Belaruska. I had some connections in Novosobotska at the time, so I went to Red Rohanza. So I met my client there and we fixed the deal. We went out to celebrate. We, he warned me to look out since drunks had been going missing there. I crashed him off and we drink like fish. The last thing I remember was him crawling around on all fours going, Look, I am a moon rover! <laughs> if anyone reads me, respond. It's Moscow, Market Underground Station. There should be survivors in St. Petersburg. Some of the metro stations are even deeper than ours. I went there once when I was young. There were these huge iron gates that would open when the train arrived, along with the train's doors. I later learned that during the construction of the same track, half the men on this team were eaten by something. All they found were tools and bare bones. This was covered up, of course, but they did install those iron gates just to be safe. I can't imagine what the radiation did there. If anyone reads me, respond. If you recall reading that Kalishnikov was very proud that his invention was the most popular gun in the world. He said he was very happy to know that our borders were being kept safe with his help. If I'd invented that thing, I'd go mad. Imagine that your invention was the number one murder tool in the world. It's worse than being the doctor who invented the guillotine. It's Moscow, Marco on the cross station. There should be survivors and some people Some of the metro stations are even deeper than ours. I went there once when I was young. There were these huge... Hey, quit messing around. Games. You don't have the filters? Go get them. Along with the train's doors. I later learned that during the construction of the same track, half the men on this team would eat them by something. You've no business here. This exit's locked down. Move along. Come on, come on, have a look. I'll tell you about the hookups for one bullet. Mom won't give me any. Just tell me for free. I'm too hungry for that. Not in the mood to be telling tales. Just tell me what it's about. I'll go ask Mom to make a sandwich. It's about three hunters who went to Polozhevsky. Nah, just looking. Before or after it is wiped out? After, of course. So, what happened? They found out it hadn't been attacked by anyone. It was just the Lord of the Tunnels who made them all kill each other. It's a bit wow, awesome. that's cool. Now get that sandwich! What for? I already know everything. Let's go, Wheels! You brat! You dwell man! I have to think. Uh, I'll have to think. Food. Food. I haven't eaten in days. Спасибо, спасибо, thank you, Lord. said if kids go too far, they get caught by the mutants, and the mutants eat the kids' brains, and those kids become mutants too. So then you see your friend, he comes closer, and then roar, your brain gets eaten. Wow, cool. It's a bit about skill. Just what you need to fry up some meat, eh? It's a bit too expensive. Yeah, it's a what bit there? too expensive. Yeah. Uh, it's a I bit too know. expensive. The price nah, is high just looking. Well, I'll have to think a bit. So, there's this long tunnel from Sukhrovskaya to the nearest inhabited place, where long travelers tend to disappear. A caravan with a dozen men can make it through. And the ones who do say there's nothing suspicious about the tunnel itself. It's quiet and empty. There are no side branches, nowhere to get lost. But the next day, someone who's heard how nice and safe that tunnel is decides to go there alone and vanishes like a ghost. 
The stalkers say that you must never look at the Kremlin when you are up there outside. The stars on the top of the towers are mesmerizing. One look, and you won't be able to turn your eyes away. And after a few moments, you get drawn in. And all the gates are conveniently open. That's why the stalkers never go to the Great Library alone. If one of them looks at the Kremlin, the other can make him come to his senses. It's a bit too expensive, uh, I don't know. Nah, just look at It's a bit too expensive. The passage is open for residents and local workers only. Exchange! Good deal. I have to think. It's a bit too expensive, but I do not. Come, look, try and buy! As you wish. It's a bit too expensive. The price is high. You won't find any shop. Take some. Always handy. Agree.
one last week. Please, Mama, I'll just play with it and we'll it's let it go. You've got your teddy bear to play with. Quit wasting food. Uh, the price is high for me. The outlaw dope at Prospect Mirror. If they catch a merchant with it, they confiscate his stuff and kick him out of the station. And Alex says, you get nailed twice. You're banned from Hansa. For a traitor, that's a death sentence. Well, the authorities claim it kills your brain little by little if you keep taking it for too long. So it's like uh, a public health measure. The price is high for nah, Come me. on, why would they suddenly outlaw dope? What gives? You know those Krishna guys? Alex, I want to break into Kerchot of Institute and make its reactor go critical so that everyone gets to Nirvana soon. But something's always holding them back. who fought during the war say the enemy didn't want to destroy the Kremlin. So during the initial strike, they hit it with a secret bioweapon. Nobody even noticed at first. They didn't even sound an alarm. By the time they realized what had happened, the weapon had already eaten everybody inside and hundreds in the vicinity too. So today, the Kremlin still sits there behind its walls. It's as though the apocalypse had never come. Hmm. Strange. Well, I made an arrangement with the guy here. He's a greedy asshole, but we can't do anything about that. Great. Let's go then. I think you already know the way. Take my spare filter. We need to get up to the surface. As if you don't know. Kofa, 
and get out. I've already paid, Mike. You didn't pay me. But if you don't want to go through... Shit. A pleasure doing business with you. All right, all right. Just kidding. Get ready, everyone! The gate's opening! Are you sure, Commander? Take your positions! Cover me! I hate this so much. skies and frozen landscape. So that's the dead city, grunted Bourbon. Welcome home, Artyom. Be really careful now. And here we meet a happy citizen. Stalkers. Those crazy devils come to the surface almost every day, looking for scrap, ammo, anything they can dig up. Sometimes you find the dead ones frozen stiff, like snowmen in rags. <laughs> Search the room carefully. You might find another cache here. They often make hideouts for themselves on the surface, just in case. So just take a careful look around, and we'll have no problems with spare filters and ammunition whatsoever. Ah, what have we got here? Ah, a filter. That will surely come in handy. Some ammo. Great. Thanks, friend. Ready? Let's go.
We go to reach the air shaft, which we'll use to get to Dry Station. Then we go our separate ways, and you'll get my AK like I promised. Call these demons? I call them bitches. So that's the dead city. Welcome home, Artyom. Jump! I'll get you! in the backyard that leads to dry station. I'll wait for you in the building. There's a range of hideout on the upper floor. Make it quick. Don't eat yellow snow. <laughs>
As we went underground, it struck me that my city was now a foreign and hostile place. I felt safe here, in the darkness of the metro. More so when Bourbon claimed to have friends at Dry Station. Listen carefully. The bandits control this station. 
We need to move quietly and take a look around. If we don't see my friends, we get the hell out of here. I remember this crate. Let's just... Finish this later. Move it! See if he's forgetting something. I don't see his stuff around. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing but the rats here. Okay, let's go then! Nah, 
I heard some lame gunsling mowed down the whole roadblock crew. Alone? Well, sure, there could be several of them. How are we supposed to know now? Which roadblock? The one at the Chinatown? Hell no! The one at Riga at the Traders. Ah, oh, that's a pity. It was a nice place for sure, right in Hans's backyard. Let's drink then. People are fleeing exhibition. Have you heard? Yeah, sound like a plague of some sort. What do we care? Unless we know how to profit from it, we shouldn't give a damn. It's so much like you, Jaco. Always thinking of business. Yeah, who else is gonna do it? Eh? You? <laughs> hey, what do you think of the new boss? Why are you asking? I've been working with him for five years straight already. He's a tough man. He's damn smart. I wouldn't be surprised if he had us competing with Tritakovka soon. Why? We're doing all right as it is. And that could bring a war down on us. To hell with it! Uh, it's a pity though that he's done the old guard deal. Those were some fine men he knocked off. What do you care? You're alive and even well fed, so shut up already. Spade says he almost ran straight into a platoon of rangers in the far oh, tunnels. No, no. Rangers? Is he full of shit? Oh, no, no, no. no, he thinks they were doing a plague cleansing or something. These guys were death incarnate, much scarier than the Hansa troopers. All of them almost two meters high, stepping in unison, armed to the teeth. Spade hid under a pile of garbage. <laughs> they snuffed it for sure. Yeah, you don't mess with those guys. Airlocks, cave-ins, nothing stops them. I don't even think they're human. All right then, let's drink to never having the bad luck of standing in their way.
Isuzu. is a real grudge against Bourbon. I'll be surprised if that lying drunk lives till morning. <laughs> Would the new pops torture the guy? He might, but that's a lot of effort. Probably just shoot him in the head. Good riddance, I see.
What did you bring with you, bastard? Answer, Suga, or I will shoot you! What? Who is it? Who is it? One night! Hypocrite Durban, who? Artyom! Who the fuck is... Uh -uh. You can keep your weapon down, young man. A sad, but not unexpected finale for the likes of him. My name is Khan. Well, I suggest that we leave this place immediately. The companions of these bandits will show up soon enough, and I'd prefer to avoid more bloodshed. I'm going back to Cursed. This station's humidity is making me rheumatic. If you'd rather share your friend's fate, then, by all means, stay. A wise decision. Khan's appearance caught me by surprise. Although while fighting the bandits, I did send someone helping from the shadows. Khan assured me that Bourbon's fate was not tied to my own. But I regretted his death. Nobody ever walks here. Neither people nor beasts. Even the rats are absent. They know we are here. Come closer to the tubes and listen. Just don't stay for too long. Some say it's the voice of the tunnels, others consider it to be a form of psychic influence. I know this tunnel, and it knows me. Let's move. Be careful here, this is a dangerous tunnel. Please keep your light on, my friend. Or else we might stay here forever. Freeze, and look forward. I don't think the word who is applicable here.
inside, Artyom. still man their stations. Follow me, but remain at my back. Castone Lapio Asterium Manto, Castone Lapio Asterium Manto, Alum Ram, Om Alum Ram, Om Castone Lapio Asterium Manto, Castone Lapio Asterium Alum Ram, Om Alum Ram, on Castone Lapio Asterium Manto. I'd rather that remain a secret. This is personal, my friend. I was with them when they died. Only I survived. It appears that the devastation we brought upon ourselves was complete. Heaven, Hell, and Purgatory were atomized as well. So when a soul leaves the body, it has nowhere to go and must remain here, in the Metro. A harsh but not undeserved atonement for our sins, wouldn't you agree?
concentrate. You can feel it coming, I see. That's a rare talent. You should use it. Don't move now. Don't move.
get onto the rail car. The tunnel should be all safe ahead. We'll get there easily. survival. The station is under attack again. Let's go, lad. The defenders could use some help. Khan, over here! Another attack? Yes. They broke through the outer defenses. All the survivors are here. Haddadu will live to see another day. Where do the monsters come from? As always, from the left tunnel, and from the crossing! We sent a demolition squad there, but they never came back. And there is no one else we could send. You are eager to avert your station's doom, Artyom, are you not? And here the doom has already arrived. We must help. Find the remains of the demo squad. They had a bomb. Move it into the left tunnel as far as you can, then run for it. The explosion will be massive. As for the crossing, it's already been buried once, but looks like the Nosalises have dug through the cave-in. There was an airlock close by. It must have been left open. Try locking or collapsing it. I'll stay here with the survivors. Try luring the monsters towards us if there are too many.
Big war at a small station was won. I won't be going further with you. I'm still needed here. The tunnels have collapsed. If you still want to get to Polis, you'll have to take a detour. You can get to the armory from here, and afterwards you will have to go through the stations belonging to the Reds and the Nazis. Let's move. The smithy is an independent station, so it should be no problem. But the Reds are another story. They are building a new society, complete with all the lovely police state bonuses, like people informing on their neighbors. At the smithy look for an acquaintance of mine, Andrew the Blacksmith. Mention my name. He'll give you a hand. A shrine to hope. Even in these times, we can't relinquish the things that make us human. That's it. Get in. Remember, everything depends on you and you alone. Until we meet again, goodbye, Artyom. Armory Station was where most of the weapons in the metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above, and after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, but he found me first. It's a human. Kill the light already. Well, you look human. <laughs> That's all that counts. Come in, this is a free station. game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. You understand? Attention! 
Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the armory. Please stay at your registered residences and assist the law enforcement personnel in their work. Be vigilant, comrades. The enemy never sleeps. Go to hell! Beat it! Get lost! Get lost now! You deaf or what? Face to the world! This is an inspection! Get hey, lost! Come on! Quit harassing me! But don't swing that way. <laughs> Got the boat yet? Prepare for inspection. Oh, I'm always prepared for this. Uh, doctor, could you check my prostate while you're at it? I'm pissing kind of funny. It's glowing. Must be the radiation, huh? <laughs> you freak! Hell! <laughs> so, you kick the part that attracts you the most? <laughs> uh, pretty weak, though. What, they don't feed you enough? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> he's a fucking comedian, huh? Don't see many of those guys. Try this on for size, you punk. <laughs> oh, okay, that one was better, but I still think my grandmother could take you. <laughs> Let's bring him in. We'll see how his jokes sound at Lubyank. Shh, hush. And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend. Put your hands out. You're under arrest. Quite all right. Lay off. I'll come quietly. Huh. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna kill him. Go! Let's get them! Come on, follow me! Go! Be go! Careful. Watch out! God left in our world. That day, he was with me. I had been rescued by Han's friend, Andrew the blacksmith. He would prove to be my ticket out of the communist station. But the only way goes through a goddamn battlefield, the front line between the Reich and the Reds. You'll need a disguise. Take these overalls, put them over your clothes. The Reds are rounding up the volunteers to storm the Nazi fortifications. They're about to send a train full of new recruits straight into the fire. But you will be riding the train unannounced. Your seat won't be first class, but you don't have to pay the fare with your own blood either. <laughs> Once the troop train has passed the roadblocks, you're on your own.
There's a saboteur lurking in every alley. I tell you. No reason to panic. We've sealed our border with the Nazis and covered every possible entry point with roadblocks. The mouse couldn't get through. What about the surface, huh? What about the surface? Those girls could be sneaking down to attack us from above. And all the while, their spies soften us up for their invasion. Very well. All new arrivals will be sent to the cages till they're clear. That way, your own people can sort out the suspects. Authorized personnel only. Visit the shops. Hone your arsenal where you still can, but don't waste time. The train is on schedule and it's not waiting for you. Kids, filters, knives, everything you need when traveling in dangerous areas, no? You won't find any shop. Special offers and discounts. A best Always hands from the Fort Master. That's a deal. You won't regret buying your purchase. Take it! Just one of those left! Whatever. Bullets exchange. You won't find better rates in Hall Metro. You're welcome. It's okay, guys. He's with us. Come on, jump into the hole, Artyom.
Why did you join the army? I followed my political beliefs. As for me, I'm here for that doll. How about you? Me? Join the army, they said. See the world, they said. Huh? My father was a Red Army soldier, and his father as well. It's the family tradition. So tell me, man. Is it also your tradition to lose arms and legs on the battlefield? They were happy to make those sacrifices. <laughs> sure. Drunks and fools are happy too. There's a black capsule in my ammo pouch. What is that? An antibiotic? No. It's cyanide, in case the enemy captures you. What? But... God forbid suicide. I'd go straight to hell. Listen, altar boy. A Nazi prisoner is going to hell anyway. Trust me. The pill is faster. I could never take my own life. Then give me your pill. I'd rather swallow two than rot in one of their stalags. Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the Communists. I heard they once fought another war, but the Nazis lost. It won't last us long, and we'll die broke. Enough with the talking! Get out! Form up!
What a waste. Keep it to yourself. Unless you'd like to face a firing squad. You are the only one listening. You, you wouldn't report me, would you? What? You don't trust me? No, I don't know who or what I trust in. All the men we've lost are advancing an inch. Attack, counterattack, attack again, no end in sight. Because we're too weak, too many traitors, not enough believers. But why? Why do we store them head on? Why on the bridges? There's no chance of breaching the Nazi lines this way. No, you and I know there's a passage under the bridge. Why don't our commanders do it? We could have spent hundreds of lives if we used the passage to get at the Nazi bitches from behind. Mikhalic, Mikhalic, we should read up the passage. I think of the damage we could do, a night assault from behind their lines. Hey, they give medals for this shit. We come without orders? Medals for that. A bullet in his skull is more like it. If he comes from command, we'll go. Until then, shut up and have a smoke, hero. Ah. You see it? If you follow these pipes, you will find a manhole in the tunnel. Okay, okay. You are lying, you piece of crap. This is for your treason. <laughs> I, I'm telling the truth. I, I swear to God, I even marked the path myself. You send the man down to check it. Please, please, sir. <laughs> I've got a wife and a son. Have you heard what happened yesterday? I was there and almost got my head blown off. I'll have a nightmare for the rest of my life if we make it. Like I was in the field hospital yesterday. What went on? Those Nazi bastards hit us with a pack of suicide bombers. Is there really someone ready to die for them? Now the poor fuckers have had hands tied behind their backs. They came running towards our roadblocks with the Nazis machine gunning the hell out of them from the back. Our guys thought some comrades had escaped the Nazi prison. What happened next? They were yelling and screaming, but no one could make it out. Nazi bitches had cut their tongues out. Jesus. When our soldiers went to help, they saw the run of the full fucking suits of TNT. Somebody said, hit the deck. I barely made it. Seven guys in there unit died. Four bombers killed, men from the Nazi prison. Seven? The last time I heard it was six. Man, I died this morning. His brother was also not. But he fought to the end. How could a man do this to another?
Maggot! It's red traitors like you that keep us from wiping our metro clean of inferior races! Well, if you're the master race, we are all fucked. I was hoping we could beat our philosophy into you, but it's clear that the Commissar has destroyed your brain. You won't even feel this. Thank you, Rob. I heard there was a ranger in the vicinity. Good work. I won't ask you about your mission here. We'll regroup and fall back. An honor to meet you. And thanks again.
shit! Try to hit When I came to my senses, I lost all hope. Nazi prisoners were used for slave labor or target practice. Why should we hesitate? Let's shoot this red spy and be done with it. Shouldn't we call the Gestapo? It'll take them forever to get here from Reich. Who'll watch this pig till then? Good point. All right, you red scum. Offer a prayer to your marks or whoever. <laughs> Maybe if you beg, we'll think about killing you quickly.
one thing I like about the bad guys, there's always a lot of discussion before they get around to pulling the trigger. You owe me one, kid. You don't look like a rat. Who the hell are you? That's Hunter's token. I'd better take you to Miller. Whatever message you have, save it for him. Okay, let's move to the armored car. Okay, Pavel, here's the plan. You'll take him in the armored car to our real car. After that, we'll be real close. Just the hall and the black station. And what about the mission? Hey, Miller will hand you a medal if you bring news from Hunter. I'll handle the mission myself. Let's meet up at the black station. You be careful out there. You should man the turret. It'll be harder to see you that way. I hope you know how to operate a machine gun, kid. Well, guys, good luck to you. Try to get past the roadblocks quietly. Keep your cool, and they might overlook the fact that we're standing in for the crew. If it all goes to hell, just do as I say. What are you doing out here? This vehicle, it's not on the transport schedule. Uh, we've been sent to the forward roadblock, Herr officer, to deliver the ammo. They've already received the ammo shipment. Who are you? Raise your eyes, shield. Stop! Alert! Men the vehicle!
After our firefight with the Nazi trolleys, it seemed we would have an easy road ahead. Once again, I was wrong. Almost there. Omen should be waiting at the Black Station. Careful! Duck! Damn it! Did they have to build all that junk? Watch out or you'll get knocked senseless, so either duck or shoot! Yeah, a creepy place. Always stay on guard in these tunnels. Relax for a second and you are dead meat. Once we had an incident, the only thing left on the rail car were the guy's boots. Listen up, we'll be approaching a station soon. It should be deserted, but be ready for anything. Start. We gotta get out of here quickly. Here we go! Take cover behind me.
After Pavel's death, I was on my own. Somehow I had to reach Black Station. Ullman would meet me there and take me to Polis.
Too many of the mutants broke through. Polis must be warned. But my fighting days are over, as you can see. I have a critical mission for you. Go up to our radio beacon. Contact Polis. And broadcast the emergency message I have prepared. Good luck, brother.
Uncle! Uncle, come on, get up! We'll get eaten! Please, wake up! Why are you sleeping? Let's go to Mom! You told me you'd take me to... Go away! Leave me alone! Mom told me not to talk to strangers! Please, Uncle! Are you hurt? Say something! He won't wake up! I think he's dead! He's dead, isn't he? How... You'll take me? I don't know you, but if I don't, I guess I'll get eaten by the monsters. You have a gun? Okay, maybe I'll come with you then. You can shoot the monsters, right? Okay. My name is Sasha. You shoot, and I'll watch your back. I hate to leave Uncle here. I was visiting Uncle. He was taking me home when the monsters came. They jumped at him. He started shooting, but then a big Nosalus bit him in the neck. But Uncle is really strong. He killed it with a knife. You don't look as strong as Uncle. I'll have to help you, or we'll both get eaten. in that locker. That one! a gun too. It's in a safe place till I'm old enough to shoot, but you can borrow it when your gun wears out.
Hey, look out! There's a hole! People should not throw grenades in here. Mom said the ceiling is weak and could come crashing down. Hey, look out! Usually our guards can kill them all. What's that? Looks like a wire. There! Are we really leaving the station? Cool! I've never been to the tunnels before. Mom says there's a scary place where the kids go missing. Mom says if the kids go too far into the tunnels, the mutants catch them and eat their brains, and then those kids become mutants and go chasing other kids. Is that true? There! Wait! Uncle showed me a picture once. The s sky That's the sky, isn't it? It's like a painted ceiling. I'll be famous. I saw the sky! We can climb all the way to the sky. Wait, I don't really want to go this high. Don't drop me. Thanks, man. Do Mom, you have any idea I how much that sky. boy means? 
His father is really important to all of us. And if his son died, well, that would have killed him. And without him, we'd all be done for. Thank you. Oh, God. Poor Siroja. Thank you for saving my son. I can never repay you. But uh, take these cartridges. At least it's something. Creatures have appeared there. Nazis. They've built an outpost in the destroyed building just outside. At the square, you will find an underground crossing leading to Block Station. I will mark it on your map. The boys will let you outside. Good luck to you, Ranger. count to five. A cure for everything. Good deal. Need ammo? Special Ask offers, me. discounts. Best guns from the Forge Masters. Come through! up again to the gloomy charm of post-apocalyptic Moscow. I was warned in Hull Station about a new squad of Nazi Rangers on the surface, but I meant to fulfill the last wish of the dead commander and send his message to Polis. Creeps. Look what we have here, a thinker. Brilliant. 
And did you think about what we do once we capture the hub? Shall we use your stupid head to close the exit? Cut the chatter! Reichsführer gave us clear task to capture this station quietly!
something moved. Over there. Something definitely seemed off here. Is the second ship coming or what? Shoot to the bend. The filter's almost done for two. My watch shows us at least ten more minutes. I wish it were sooner. This place gives me the shivers.
ね。ここIt was clear that Black Station was occupied by fascist, but Olin had said he'd wait for me there. I had to risk it. Who is it? Surrender and you won't get hurt. I swear!
<laughs> what took you so long? Where's Pavel? Did he... All right, later. The situation got worse. Nazis literally flooded the station. He'll have to act alone. Sorry. But if you can shut down their generator, it'll be easier to sneak past the guards. Take this. I will wait for you in the deserted tunnel to Polis. Feed your children, huh? Sturbenfuhrer, perhaps? What the life? Maybe get the families and go to Ganza? You know what happened to those who tried. Bastards. Come here. Watch the generator. And if I catch you playing cards, you're dead, man. Hey, the fuck? Was it? Looks like this. Thank you. 
place was any good. I hope no commies gonna jump me now. Seems like that kind of place. So we have to sit in the dark.
about Metro 2 and the Invisible Watchers? No. You've heard of Ragnarok, the last battle of the gods? Mm -hmm. Metro 2 is the place where the gods of the Soviet pantheon will take shelter if the forces of evil prevail. The legends say Metro 2 lies hidden beneath the spot. Ours is the Metro for the sheep, and the Metro 2 is for the shepherds and their dogs. Once upon a time, the shepherds ruled the herd for them. But later, their strength weakened, and their sheep were dispersed in many directions. A single gate joined these two worlds at a place which now splits the map with a red scar. But something <sighs> happened, and the gate to Metro 2 was shut down forever. Those living here forgot about Metro 2, and it became a thing of myth. But though we are no longer aware of Metro 2, it does exist. It's all around us. It's tunnels entwined with our own. It's stations behind the walls of our stations. The two metros are inseparable. And those who believe that the shepherds could not abandon their herd say that they watch over us still, directing our every step. But do not show themselves to us. And that is what faith in the invisible watchers is. But why they do not wish people to know about them? There's the food. Sheep are so, for they turned down their shepherds in the time of weakness. And ever since Metro 2 was separated from our world, the shepherds have evolved in a different way. They're no longer human, creatures of a higher order. This logic is not understandable for us. They have the power to change everything, even to turn the lost people in the world to us. But because we will build against them, they do not take part in our destiny anymore. However, they exist everywhere, and are all-knowing and all-seeing. Only after we repent our sins, will they reveal themselves and offer their help. And salvation will come. That's what is said by the people who believe in the Invisible Watchers. Interesting legend.
Well, here, you climb in here and rest. Reach Polis soon. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. Something much worse. Wicked phenomenon, yes. But, you know, it's not any more evil than, say, fire. It all depends on your point of view. Try to get a better understanding of things before you make your judgment. Let's move out now. It's not safe here. It's hard to describe my feelings at that moment. Exhausted, yes. <laughs> but joyful. I had made it. Once I delivered Hunter's message, the rescue of my home station could be decided by those stronger and wiser than I. And my task would be over. Hey, you at the rail car! Stop the engine! Do not move! Name yourselves! Oh, we're Nazis! Come here to take your station! Ulman, <laughs> is that you? You're lucky Petrovich isn't here. He's not a man for jokes. Who's that with you? He's from the northern frontier. I'm escorting him from the black station. All right, come on through. Let's go. Welcome to Polis, Captain Krasnov. You've come a long way, young man. 
Where exactly are you from? He's from the Exhibition. What, can't he speak for himself? Look, Captain, it's the kid's first time in Polis. He's been through hell getting here, and he's carrying Hunter's message to Miller. So, cut him some slack, huh? All right, all right. Get changed. There's the clothes. You can leave your gear. It'll be safe here. You'll get it back sparkling clean. You go ahead and take some rest, Artyom, and I'll go find Miller. I hope he's not out on a mission. By the way, don't forget to scrub yourself down in the lobby, old man. I won't, I won't. <laughs> you pain in the ass. Would you rather have two-headed kids? <laughs> Idiot. Hello! I wanna go pee! Too late. Now you have to wait. But pa! Don't pa me! I was waiting for them at the block station. Oh, and by the way, the Nazis beat finally entrenched there. They're definitely creeping closer to us. What is he? Colonel, sir, report Dismissed. Artyom, I'm Miller. What is the message from Hunter? This way. Come on, Artyom. Miller does not like waiting. You won't find better rates in the whole metro. The most balanced knives. Make sure you can count to five. Always handy. You're welcome. Come, look, try and buy. Nice gun. You won't regret buying your purchase. Take it. Just one of those left. That's a deal. Oh, thank you for bringing this to Polis. Was a brave thing you did. I'll call an emergency session. When they summon you, you'll report the situation. All council members, please assemble in the council chamber. I repeat, all council members, please proceed to the council chamber. Escort the boy to the council chamber. drink so much. I had to. Do you? Fuck that, man. As if you have nothing better to do. Ah, fuck better. Yeah, right. And every time you get pissed drunk, I end up carrying you. I sure as hell could do better. Sorry, man. <laughs> well, once, me and the boys were having a drink. Well, a few drinks. Lots of drinks. <laughs> Shit, we were plastered. You're always plastered. Anyways, so we had a few, but wanted more. Oh, you weren't saturated by then? Hell no. Sorry, man. Did I interrupt you? Sorry, bro. Go on. Yeah. So, we went to have another and realized we're in the fucking tunnel. What the hell? Fuck if I know. One minute we're leaving the bar and somebody stepped on my hand. Then, we're in the tunnel. Dark as shit. So? So we just looking around, and then we see them sneaking along the wall. Them? What do you mean, them? Like, not us. So we jump up. 
It's a caravan. And the caravaners are some real tough bastards. We barely got the best of them. And after all that, the fuckers are broke. So we decide to sell them to slavers, make some dough. So what then? So we get them to the station, and we see that they were Spiri and Plotnik. Both of them so wasted they couldn't talk. <laughs> then we had a laugh. Yeah, well, listen to this. Spiri says they were attacked in the tunnels and beat the other guy's asses. <laughs> that the attackers <laughs> run like squirrels. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I can't laugh anymore. I'm gonna burst. <laughs> Yes? What do you need? <coughs> That's unusual, huh? A new face! Hello! Be my guest! <coughs> Here's your drink. What the... Here you are. bothering me. Wait a bit. We're going to catch us a fish, and Aunt Nadia is going to roast it. Papa, I'm hungry. Do you have a fish? No, darling, no. Wait a bit more, please. Is biting yet? No, it is not. You can't go in there. It's Papa, a high danger zone. When is it going to bite? I don't know. Let's wait some more. I'm stunned that the Council has refused to help your station. I'm, I'm ashamed that they lack the courage you have already shown. But Polis is not the whole Metro. There still are people who will rise up and fight the threat of the Dark Ones. Okay, 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 okay. Listen carefully. The Rangers have found several well-preserved missile bases near the city. Some could probably be activated and deliver a missile strike against the Dark Ones. The problem is that the missiles are supposed to be launched from the command center, D-6. But we don't know where that is, or if it's operational. However, we do know where that information can be found. There's a huge library on the surface. Dangerous place, but it contains a secret military archive. We must go there. Okay, we'll split up now to avoid the tension. You'll go up from here. I've already arranged that. When you've made your way to the library entrance, I'll be there waiting for you. Okay? 
Эй, Артём, be careful. А, one more thing. When we go back, we'll head straight for Sparta base. My rangers will meet us there. Let's go! The Council's decision shocked me, but Miller's plan gave me hope. Once more, I climbed up to the bones of Moscow to search for the secret of D6 and a way to awaken the horde of missiles.
Find the way to open it. We can't hold them long. What the hell? A snake. That means an ice.
Don't go anywhere. We'll come for you on our way back. <laughs> it's a joke. Any longer, and those beasts would have ripped us apart. We'd want our turn. Check rooms on the sides, maybe you can see how to open it. You're doing well. Alright. Neurons and synapses, supraspinal motoric system. Wow. And Mr. Gatsky. Roadside picnic. Huh. Something familiar. Fucking will it ever end? My oh my! You probably read about it in books of the saints. It must have been beautiful once. Librarian! That's my turn. Librarians are some of the most dangerous creatures out here. If you meet one, or two, God forbid, don't fight it. But don't run from it either. The beings won't attack you if you look them in the eye. Now remember. Never let them out of your sight. Show them your back, you'll die. Okay, if a beast gets nervous, move away, but slowly. And if you shoot, well, look or don't look, you won't see anything ever again. Yourself. Here are the floor plans. The entrance to the military archive is somewhere on the first floor of the library. The door the librarian went through leads there. There's not much time. Dawn's coming. Go now, and remember what I told you about the beast, okay? I'll try to come back as soon as possible. Go.
I was alone again, and soon I would look into the eyes of fear, literally.
The underground depository was a frightening place, and I had no idea where or what to search. But I refused to think that all my efforts would come to nothing.
I had found the D6 documents, but Miller had not yet returned. Without his help, I wasn't certain I could get out of the library alive. But everything depended on it. Find anything. Okay, saddle up. Покойно, ребята. So, uh, where are we going? To church. Artyom, does the name Ken ring a bell? Help us find you. I still don't know how you did it. Hey, how about some music? Sure, what are you doing? put in charge of radio monitor. Our hope was to contact the government bunkers over the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. <laughs> At first, they didn't directly target civilians, and nobody thought this would be the war that would end it all. As I was monitoring the radio, I picked up a lot of weird stuff in the beginning, too. Siberia was silent, but the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. The subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No one could believe Moscow was not there anymore. Naval captains wept like kids on the air. The crewmen were begging me to check if their families were among the survivors. But I couldn't do anything. Some of the sub crews decided to get their revenge and went to their launch positions. Others reasoned that since the world was doomed, more killing was pointless. The subs continued to come back on air for a long time. They could stay submerged for half a year at least. Some of them were destroyed, but not all. I still shiver when I remember those days. Artyom, I'm Vladimir. Pick whatever you like. You can't find stuff like this in the metro. It's the latest military equipment. The cost in blood is outrageous. I'll tell you that.
Oh, hey there, Artyom. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm exercising, as you can see. Hello there, Artyom. I told you we'd meet again. It's a nice base the Rangers got themselves. I heard you received no help from Polis. What's your next move? Keeping silent, you're turning into a Ranger. Take a close look at the road you follow, Artyom, and be aware of how it might end. You reap what you sow, Artyom. Force answers force. War breeds war, and death only brings death. To break this vicious circle, one must do more than just act without any thought or doubt. Well, Artyom, I've been chatting here for far too long. It's time to go. Okay, okay, okay. There's not much useful in here. Just hints at most. Although it does show the way to D6. Well, that's our destination then. Are you ready? So, how are we faring? Wolman, is everything ready? Uh, the firewood's done. <laughs> Vladimir? The gear's ready. You guys? Ready. Settle up then. Pakonyam! Well, Artyom, I've been chatting here for far too long. It's time to go. It's the old church dungeon. Get in! Dark tunnel, wheel rattle, and the smell of death. That's how our journey to D6 began. But our goal seemed closer now. According to the map, there are several ways of reaching D6. Now, the closest one is through the facilities near Kielskia. Okay, we drive that route. Kielskia? We heard strange things about that station. There was an explosion in the tunnel, and lots of people were buried alive. Now, rumor has it they survived, but no longer is ever used. There was
Артем! 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 Wake up, Artem! Wake up! Great, he's coming to us. Put the light away, you're blinding him. Artem, are you okay? Can you stand up? Artem, who is that? We're arriving! There's an airlock here! Great, stop here! Hell, this place giving the creeps. Boris, take a look at the gate. The control unit is broken to smithereens. All the lines are cut. Vlad, get your tools ready. We need this door open. Artyom, you stay here and cover our backs. We don't need surprises here. Sure, I don't think we're going to smoothly. Watch your back. Okay. Okay, Vladimir, find the first block chart. Only look here. First we connect the wires, then on my mark we throw the switches. Something's out there. Something's closing in. Ignore it. The Nosalysis! Fire! This is the door leading to D6. What's that? It's short. It's dark in here. Okay. Go for it. The chaos of the tunnel was locked away behind the airlock gates. They seemed invulnerable. And at that moment, so did my comrades. All right, we've broken through. Let's do this fast and smooth. Olman, you're in charge of the assault team. Boris and Stepan, you cover the comedian. Artyom, Vladimir, stay close to me. Okay, Ribeta, let's do it. Hey, wait a hurry, Colonel. How about sitting down and having a smoke? <laughs> We're way too nervous. It's no rest for the wicked, as you know. Forward, my soldiers! Great deeds await! Great deeds? Somehow I'm not too enthusiastic about leaving my mark in history. Well, 
about this? Someone left a skeleton here. Hey, how about we take it as a memento? Olman, enough of the jokes, Blin. When we're back at the base, you'll be sweeping tunnels with a toothbrush. Yes, my marshal. As you say, my general. Here's the first challenge. Artyom, flip those breakers. Now that's a funny looking thing. It's a pity it's broken. Well done, Artyom. You've just earned yourself a medal. Holman, check the pool! Oh no, I ain't gone. It's dark and scary there. Shit! Watch your language, soldier. It's not language, it's shit. Literally, I stepped in it. Oh, well, that's a great sign. <laughs> it's not a sign, it's an omen. If there is shit, then something left it here. Look here. Offense is the best defense. Vladimir, stay with Artyom. You both, stay back. Okay, let's go. Oh, Carla. I can't find in such an environment. It stinks so much, I lost the sense of smell. Holman, I wish you lose the bad jokes, Blim! For each no service. How about that, Coroner? To hell with you, Blin. I'm not a comedian. Stop laughing, Blin!
The shelter. We're gonna make it. Looks like we're through. Take a look what's behind the door. That's enough. You can't help him, Sipan. Let's go. What, Suki? Boris, I swear on your memory, they won't rest while I'm alive. The goddamn beasts. Okay, there's a pumping station ahead and a sewage pool. We'll need to open the door. Give me a couple minutes. Okay, go for it. Just a little more. It's open! Gas masks on. Portman, check the pool. Uh, I always get the most interesting jobs, don't I? All clear. Let's move. I'll check it out. Careful, man! Careful! What do we do next? Ladna, ladna, ladna. There's a passage down there. It's our only option. Let's move quietly. What was that? The freaking missiles! It's been found out! Watch out!
get out of here! Go! Move! Move! Don't stop! This is the door leading to D6! Are we there? Uh, looks like it. A chart! It's locked! <laughs> I'm not surprised. Now what's up with that? It looks like a blast door. Okay. Go for it. Got it! Artyom, take a look at that room. Artyom, are you okay? Great, we'll try to reach you. Meanwhile, look for an exit. Good luck.
Thank God, it is your life. We lost that one. Fuck! Okay, silence! A sound from the tunnel. Can't you hear it? Something's approaching. What's up? Like an automatic system. I'll check it out. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. All clear. There is no other way. Gotta take it. So the next station is D6. We were close to D6 now. It was hard to believe that we'd found the legendary command center. But was it worth so many lives? Soon, we would know the answer. Careful, damn it! Twenty years without maintenance is too much even for Soviet military structures. Everyone watch your step, especially you, Artyom. Hmm. Looks pretty clear. The control room should be there. Well, let's check it out. Horn and Vladimir, stay here and cover our asses. We never know what's coming. Artyom, come with me. Oh, sir, sir, yes, sir. sir. Something about these objects. Uh, they, uh, they are Soviet soul. <laughs> what do you really know about that? Who 
It says here on the top there's an air filtering system for emergencies. These systems were built to last, so there's a good chance it still works. Nothing good, Billion. We gave these machines too much credit. All these mechanisms have to be fixed by hand. And Tom, there's an auxiliary startup system. Go upstairs to that ledge. I'll tell you what to do when you get there. Artyom, there should be four starter motors over there. Find them! To start this shit up, you need to open all the covers first! Just like in old Hollywood movies about Soviet Union. Hey, Colonel! What's up? We almost fell off! All good! Artyom, let's move out. Enough playing with the equipment. Thank God we don't have to go all the way down. Oh, something feels very wrong in there. Oh! 
Ольман, go left. Professor to the right. Artem, cover me. If the plans are correct, we need to go there. But how can we open this gate, huh? Any ideas? Artem? Артемка. Ольма, let's go. Ольман, hold the door. Владимир, that's your field. What do you need? Let me think. Um, instruction A124, page 3. Um, panel DS22. All right. There it is. Superb memory, Vladimir. I always said the army was a worthwhile institution. All the training finally paid off. It's working. Now that's hardware. Excellent. First, died. Second, destroyed. Third, fourth, fifth, eighth, tenth. Jokey pokey, that just cannot be. Here, here's one. Now, now I'll get all the info. What the hell? What happened? Battery backup depleted. What about main power? Well, it looks like the reactor is deactivated. We won't be able to start it from here. We need to start the reactor manually at the lowest level. From the schematic, it's not that difficult. Almost everything is automated. <laughs> hey, stop laughing! How do we go down? Well, there's a lift just one level down. But there's a slight problem. To power it up, we need to switch off everything. Even emergency lighting. Then there is no other choice. Do it. Thanks, Volodya. Stay here and watch the readings. We'll be fast. Artyom, Olman, follow me! Come the sons of the apocalypse. Holman, change of plans. You stay with Vladimir and defend this position. If anything happens, I will send that to him. Good luck to us all. Pomiri, there's shit all over the place. It's disgusting.
sure. The lift is over there, but the door is locked. Okay, we'll have to go around. Advance carefully. We'll cover each other. Okay, this is the lift. I hope it still works. People of Metro, we have awaited your arrival. We are those who are called the Invisible Watchers. Your time has come. And now you will feel our wrath. Well, let's stop screwing around. Colonel, I have activated the loudspeaker. I have the signal from the lift switchboard on my console. I'll switch it on. That's right. Invisible watches. <laughs> How can you believe in that crap after all this? See that. Okay, get ready, Artwan. It's going to be hot. This shit on the floor is toxic for sure, and all the gas. We won't last long here. Where's the staircase? Artuan, I won't lie to you. I'm afraid now. Let's head into the bunker. The sight just makes me sick. Okay, where is the lever? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Colonel, the system is automated. Just enter the command. Sure. Easier said than done. Never thought I'd be in such a mess. Okay. Enter starter. One, two, three, four. Looks simple. They built it so even a fool could use it. Just pray to God it works. Colonel, it's all good. She's at one quarter power. We need a full charge. Keep it going. It's sure, Padiri. 
Oh, well, we wouldn't do any better than that. Let's go, second. Sure, Mario, what the hell was that? Now this shit is fighting back. This gets worse every minute. Yeah. Tuck, 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 tuck. Manual activation system, hydraulics, sure. Artyom, you won't believe what you have to do now. Did you see the crane on the ceiling? Get to the cabin. It's a backup activation system with a capture mechanism which will help us lift the rods. Try to get there while I distract our friend. Okay, let's move. It's now or never! Thank God that in the past everything was built in pairs. We should go this way for now. We'll come back here later and finish what we started. Just need to prepare better. Let's deal with your dark ones first. tunnels will once again be filled with fast silver trains. Everything will be... Yeah, everything. to correct the aim. You stay here and defend Vladimir. I won't guess our chances of making it, but try to reach our people and ask for backup near the tower. I'll be in contact. 
Он из Клир? Гуд. Артем, let's go. Good luck, guys. Same old story. You save the world while sitting waist deep in shit and nobody gives a damn. Miller and I left the train, then climbed up the tunnel to the Korolev Performance Hall. We were close to Ostan Kino Tower now. In the frozen streets, we joined the other rangers in the furious battle that began my story. Oh, 
Okay, okay, I have an idea. Climb on top of the elevator. We will try to unlock the counterweight stopper. Over. 
Roger that, Colonel. Over. <sighs> the laser won't do us any good here, Artyom. <sighs> the clouds are way too thick. <sighs> You've got to climb as high as you can and set the guidance system up. <sighs> Move, boy, move! Everything depends on you now.
Hostile, you kill it. You read what you saw, Martin. 
Force answers force. War breeds war, and death only brings death. To break this vicious circle, one must do more than just act without any thought or doubt. 20 seconds to homing procedure completion. H.G. Wells once wrote, If we don't end wars, wars will end us. And somehow, I stopped my war. At the time, I couldn't say what had made me spare the Dark Ones. But I came to realize that the strange visions that haunted my journey were their attempts to reach out to us. I don't know if I was the first to communicate with them. But I will not be the last. They are among us now. And the future, our future, stretches before us like an endless metro tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> 